so far we've had Oscar winners, we've had BAFTA winners, we've got a digital strategist to come in and speak to the students about their work. They've gone off to Christine Blundell's Makeup Academy and been mentored by other students. They've been mentored by BBC writers, by Channel 4 writers. And we find that that provides a motivational aspect as well as the experience and the skills that young people need to gain their qualifications. Is strategy should contain multiple plans. You often hear people talk about... It really does encourage students to believe that they can actually do things, that they can use their artistic input and any kind of artistic flair is, a, is good. It's the connections between the two of them. So what is it? We learned how to do blood, bruises, and that was really cool just to see how it can look so realistic, but you just think, oh, it's a little bit of syrup on a mouth, but actually it can look like blood. Look at the difference between a strategy. You are learning from the best. You are gaining their experience. They are being inspired by being literally in the presence of people who are brilliant at what they do. It inspires me. I learn something in every lesson. And you feel that it equips you to deal with all of the unexpected. And it gives us more motivation to go and actually want to do it further. <laughs> I think the reality is that these guys in 15 years are going to be dealing with solutions that the problems haven't been invented for yet. So I think there's a range, regardless of whether you're going into the media industry, there's a range of media transferable skills that you can employ in business or in the modern workforce. A range of media courses starting from GCSE all the way through to A level, AS and A2. It's a very, very practical course that has lots of activities to do with the academic side of the course. So instead of writing a 2,000 word essay about the history of editing, they may very well create dynamic presentations or they will apply the editing that they've learnt about. What we're doing this evening is we're celebrating um, the merits of people that have worked incredibly hard. All the, the digital print work over here came with their coursework, their blogging entries. That was three months solid work. And if I could remind you that, you know, it would be great if they were just doing that, but a lot of the students, well, all of the students that were doing this had two other A-levels to work on, maybe had an extended project, or maybe going to this other wonderful club that, that takes place at Ackland Burley. So one, one thing I'm really proud of uh, to be here tonight is just to, to really celebrate the work tonight, but also the work that you guys undertake on a daily basis. So thank you very much. Oh. Today I'm here to talk about really how to get a documentary broadcast in this country. It sounds to me like there's quite a lot of young people coming to the, here today who've got ideas, who've perhaps already embarked on making their own kind of documentaries. And I think it's just, uh, I hope I can help them translate that into something that a broadcaster might actually want to engage with them with, work with them uh, on, and actually get to the stage where they would deem it worthy of being broadcasted. I'm a documentary film director, and I'm here today to work with young people to talk about how we can get their ideas into development, production, and onto the big screen. We should start our process from the very beginning, from a seed of an idea. How we start to build on that seed of an idea 
and have a plan and strategy to get through development, production and reach an audience. I've been invited to come down here today to, uh, to speak about audience and how you find them for documentaries to some aspiring young uh, documentary filmmakers. Specifically what I'm looking to do is to kind of demystify the uh, well, what happens when you've actually made your film, how you get it out there. It's a bit of a bit of a strange, bit of a scary uh, process it can be, and I'm hoping just to try to make it a little bit less scary for people. My name is uh, James Mulligan, and I'm here at the uh, BFI South Bank uh, today to help uh, deliver a documentary workshop day. My session uh, in the afternoon um, will talk about a lot of the web resources that are available for documentary filmmakers to help develop uh, an audience and attention around their film. Part of it will be a lecture, but then we'll stop the lecture and we'll turn the chairs around into a circle and we'll get the participants of the, or the recipients of the training today to workshop each other's projects. It's a bit like building a scrapbook for it and also a notice board yeah. for it. Okay. And every time you put anything into it, you then use the existing social media saying, this just happened, link and then people will come. Today has helped uh, give me a lot of confidence. The media is always changing, you need to be always learning something new. Getting all that kind of advice was inspirational, helpful. I learned a lot about ways of approaching not only distributors themselves, but just general people who can help you out. I always feel a bit more motivated after talking to other people and what they're doing. And definitely, in my case, at least, want to make me move forward.